Okay, you guys, let's talk about an easy, quick way to transfer your templates using photo paper. The easy way to do a uh, template transfer is using photo paper. So I can just feel now in the comments, everybody is going to start suggesting other ways to do this, um, parchment paper, freezer paper. And I'm just gonna say, I have used those methods and neither one of them worked for me. Um, the parchment paper did not go through my printer. It just crumpled all up and it kind of got stuck. So I had to dig it out, the whole jam thing, and it was a mess. Um, and I tried the freezer paper as well. And the freezer paper, um, the ink, so the image that I had printed, the ink kind of beat it up on, on the paper. It didn't, the ink didn't come out as the image I printed. The ink kind of just beat it all up and there were just little beads of ink everywhere and the image was just gone. So I just gave up on those methods pretty quickly. Um, I decided to try this. So this is just a plain old sheet of photo paper. I think it's, yeah, it's the Epson brand of uh, photo paper. I'll put a link below. Uh, but if you use the back side, it has almost like a plasticky, um, waxy type surface. Um, if you put this through the printer and print on this side, the ink won't adhere. It won't soak in, but it keeps its shape. And this paper being designed to go through the printer goes to the printer just fine. So I have chosen to go this route instead of using parchment paper, freezer paper. Um, you know, not all printers are created equally. Some people have better printers than other. Uh, so your printer may handle parchment or freezer paper and you may wanna give that a shot. Um, it is less expensive than buying photo paper, but this works like a dream. I mean, it has no trouble going through the printer. It doesn't, um, lose, the image doesn't lose its shape. Uh, it works really, really well. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Um, let's set up the template real quick because you have to mirror it in your uh, computer software. So let's do that real quick and then I will show you the printing process. Here we go. So before we get to making our template, I'm gonna show you a little tip and I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but one of the tricky things about doing this ink impression is that you have to align it perfectly the first time. You really only get one shot at it. So I'm gonna give myself a few lines here just as an indicator of where to put my paper when it's time to place it. It may or may not help, I don't know, but it's worth a shot just so that I don't have my image askew on the wood. Okay, so now let's hop into Photoshop. I've already got my template designed and ready to go, but I need to flip it in order to print. So when you're doing this type of transfer, you have to mirror your image or flip it horizontally, whatever terminology you wanna use, so that when you print it, it comes out facing the correct direction. You also wanna make sure when you're putting your photo paper in your printer, that the slick back side of the photo paper is facing the correct direction. You may wanna run a couple of test sheets through your printer with some marks or something on some sheets so that you know exactly which direction your paper is supposed to go in order for it to print on the correct side. Okay, so here comes my template out of the printer. You can see already that the image is backwards and it is printing on the back side of my photo paper because I can see the logo watermarks back here. Okay, so my image is ready. You can see the ink is wet. I can tell on the edges it's drying a little bit and I think that is because it is first thing in the morning in here and my shop is still really cold. I've got my heaters on, but it's still like 60 degrees in here. So I think the cold is affecting my ink a little bit. So make sure you're printing this in a, in a warm environment so your ink doesn't dry up. Okay, so I'm gonna use the lines that I drew on my wood earlier to get a good placement for my paper. And I'm going to push it down and really run my hands over it several times to make sure all of the ink that I have on here gets impressed into the wood. Okay, and here is the final product. Now you can see it's come out really well. I'm really happy with the alignment. 
even these little dry bits around the edges you can still see they've left a nice kind of light impression there so it's enough for me to be, enough for me to be able to see where to outline and where to burn my letters now all i have to do is burn it so just like all of my other signs i'm going to use a skew tip to outline all of my lettering so i get a nice crisp edge and then i'm going to use this flat shader tip to fill it in Before I show you the finished product, I wanted to test something out. I grabbed a bottle of cleaner, and this is just an all-purpose cleaner, and I sprayed the back of the photo paper. I was curious to see if I could reuse it. So I grabbed some cleaner, cleaned it off. It came off super easy, as you can see, and I'm just going to grab this sheet of watercolor paper and use it to test this impression. Okay, so I have reused the same sheet of photo paper that I used earlier. I've got my sheet of watercolor paper here just for testing. And I'm going to push the, the ink side down onto my watercolor paper to make an impression. And wow, look how it's come out. It has really given me a, a nice second use from the same sheet of paper. So this really makes it a more financially attractive option. I know the upfront cost is more expensive than like a freezer paper, but it actually, because it can be reused a bunch of times, um, the cost doesn't seem as bad. I haven't done the math to see which one comes out more expensive. Um, but if you're like me and the freezer paper doesn't work for you anyway, then this is a much better option. So I'm just gonna give it uh, my usual varnish here that I'm using my Kamar and UV combo. I'll put a link below if you want to check out the process that I use there. Okay, here we go. It's all done. Now I have got a nice little sign so that people know where to go to drop off packages. So my final thoughts are that while this is a really easy, quick way to transfer your, your templates to your wood, I actually still prefer the carbon method it's a lot less risky as far as making mistakes. Yes, it takes longer, you have to do it by hand, but there's a lot fewer mistakes being made when you're using the carbon. Um, I have too many things about this sort of ink transfer that can go wrong. If you, know, if you get it misaligned even a little bit, um, you have to sand down and start over, and that to me takes way longer than the carbon method and I'm just not willing to take that risk. I'd much rather just um, transfer it by hand. I still wanted to show you this method, this ink method, because I know there are a lot of people that use it and it has been suggested to me a lot, a lot of times. Maybe you have a particular wood burning style where this would be extremely helpful, uh, but it, it may not work for everybody. But it's definitely worth a shot. I think, you know, a pack of photo paper isn't that expensive you can invest in a pack and just see if you like it or if it works for you or not but I'm always down to you know show you new methods of doing things and hopefully it will be helpful to someone one thing that I have not tried that I probably will try is a heat transfer specifically for inkjet printers most heat transfers that you see are made for laser printers, but they do make a heat transfer for inkjets. I have not had a chance to use it, but I have ordered some from Amazon. So we will see how that's going to go. It says, you know, it's for t-shirts, but I'm going to give it a go on the wood. Just because it says t-shirts doesn't mean you can't use it on wood. So I'm going to test that out and I will, of course, let you know how that goes and make another video with that. Thank you guys so much for watching this. And you guys don't forget to follow me on Instagram, uh, Facebook, or TikTok. I am in all places. And I'm on Pinterest too, I forgot about that one. Uh, but I share different tips and tricks in there and do different things there too. I will put a link below. Thanks for watching you guys.